Hey guys, uh, Brendan and Michaela from Dynamic Nutrition. So um, we got a bit busy last week and we um, missed the two week out video. Uh, but here we are, just um, just past the one week out mark. So yep. six days out basically. Uh, we're just sitting outside the gym at the moment. Just been in for a um, fasted yeah. train. We do a bit of a fasted train on um, Sunday mornings. That's really productive for us, eh? Because we, mm. we still do a bit of work and, you know, want to try and relax a bit. So gets us down here real early. And it's kind of, yeah, it's good to try and um, deplete everything out again. Too. Yeah, yeah. So that's, um, what did we do today? Heavy upper, um, light lower. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was off the back of heavy lower, light upper yesterday. So, um, yeah, uh, the training style has been um, really good really cool actually like it's been, it's been working really, different, um, hey? it's been good. really well um and um yeah everything's sort of going to plan so um uh, what did we do last week we just really changed the timing around of our food last week mm, yeah, um we did, yeah. yeah pretty much um i dropped uh protein down a little bit more and put carbs up again so sitting around 150 to 170 grams of carbs on a um training day uh, but what we did is um, originally we had them kind of post-workout then we do just a protein only meal carbs protein only carbs so on uh, through to bedtime uh, this time we just changed it around and backloaded it all in post-workout so I was I was doing carbs every meal too. Oh yeah, last yeah, week. Because yeah, because yeah. I put um, pulled my protein back so much that um, there were heaps of carbs in there to try and keep the calories the same. So I spread it across so it wasn't so much in one go. Yeah, it's kind of a good um, lesson is that you don't always just have to cut calories. You can actually just change, change the macronutrients, mm, the percentages, mm. and your, and your ratios, which will um, you know that'll uh, get a get a change going as well. So. Uh, your body notices these types of things if you do it properly and you do it well enough. So It worked for us too, eh, the changes mm, we made? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did pull calories back a bit last week, um, the carbs back more so, but you did the same thing as Brendan, so mm, it, was, yeah. it was quite good. Um, so that, that went um, really well. Progress has still been really good. Um, yeah, week to week. We're doing photos, obviously, week to week and that type of thing, our testing and that sort of stuff. And... Um, it's those finer details that are really starting to sort of come through, um, yeah, and it's kind of, uh, it just keeps you in a real sort of positive headspace with it all. And Yeah, it's been, it's good, like, a, we talk about it all the time, or I do anyway, but talk about um, how cool it is having, you know, sharing the journey together too, because, you know, I look at you, and then you look at me, and the days that you kind of, you're looking at yourself, not really seeing much, the other one kind of points it out, and, you know, it kind of helps, eh, to yeah, definitely. have someone kind of push you along sometimes. It's even the same with training and shit, you know, like, fuck, we, sometimes we get in there, and you know, if one of us is feeling dead, and mm. then, you know, if Nicola does a mean set, it's like, yeah, fuck you, like, all right, I've got to step my game up and, and move some shit, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. um, and get my numbers and keep working away at it, you know, and it picks you up, and um, we do, like, um, we do a lot of supersets and stuff like that for our leg training and that sort of shit, so it's, you know, you start to suck a bit of wind between sets, and then, hello, she's coming around behind you to her one, and mm. it's like, fuck, I've got to get moving, and it just um it just keeps you cranking, it gets you through your workouts, um, and I suppose that's something that we've been um sort of uh very blessed to be able to share together and is our training, our nutrition, our business mm, everything. life, everything mm -hmm. really. So um Yeah, and we haven't killed each other either. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a positive as well and yeah. You know, you know what preps like, um if you've been through it before you get a little bit edgy and you get a little bit moody and that type of shit and um it's been a yeah. really, um, a really interesting experience this time round. Like last time was real hard, eh? Mm. Like it was that, yeah, that um, broke some barriers <laughs> mentally for that. But um, you know, we've obviously got us doing it at the moment. We've got Dean doing it. We've got um, another client who we're prepping for the show as well, and a couple of ladies we've got, and they're all just feeling so good. Yeah, eh? that's amazing. So good. Yep. 
had um, had one of the guys messaging yesterday saying that he's um, feeling the best he's ever felt, you know, obviously in the best condition of his life as well, but mentally he just feels so good. Yeah. It's that, amazing. That's and we're a week out. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, like you see all the stuff people are putting on Instagram and stuff and they're all dying and they're all fucking depleting and feeling horrible and blah, blah, blah. It's doesn't have to be like that, eh? Nah, and don't, and don't get us wrong, like, it's hard. Mm. Yeah, and we're yeah, working yeah. super hard, and we get tired, and we get, you know, like, we're just human as well. Um, but it's that that mind frame, it's um, mm. that positivity, it's that, just that focus, it's it's the confidence, like, um, yeah. yeah, like, uh, you just, we're just, it's just been a really positive experience, and I think when you've got a team that's kind of all sort of feeding off each other as well, it like helps massively. it just kind of gets everyone driving and everyone's kind of pumping each other up, and that's super cool. And um, what else? Last week we were, uh, we both ran um, full blood profiles. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. that was cool because we like to check. Um, obviously, we run them right at the beginning of prep, kind of see where we're sitting. Um, health markers and that type of thing and um, run them again a week or two out and then we'll run them again afterwards mm. so just making sure just to make sure, sure everything's really healthy yeah. yeah and we were just it was it was really it was good feedback too so mm. it was real good everything was in really positive range um, you know so some of my stuff was better than at the start of the day yeah day. it's crazy eh? yeah mm. yep, which is super cool so um, it's just looking after your body you know and giving it the respect that it needs it's like with the cardio and stuff we'll push hard for five days and then we'll have a couple of days off mm. cardio um we'll cut the caffeine back you know stimulants so just to you know replenish the adrenals and give your body a bit of a rest from it and then man after those two two days we're just chomping at the bit to You're get in here to and fucking yeah. cardio our ass mm. off and it's we're crazy you know <laughs> it's like um, it's important because it brings that drive back, eh? Definitely. The definitely. other thing that's huge for us too, and I don't know if we talked about it last time, but generally when you get a little bit closer to the show as well, like your sleep gets a bit fucked, eh? Mm. We've been sleeping like babies, it's like real well. well. Yeah, and waking yeah. up, like feeling really good too. Mm. It's been, yeah. We've had a lot of little changes, I suppose, that we've made in our um, personal life, getting up real early and yeah. more early for us, and but they've all been really positive things, eh? We bought a new bed, too. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, just when we got back from um, Thailand, so that was sitting there waiting mm. for us, and um, that's been amazing. Um, your quality of sleep has so much to do with your bed, yeah, so yeah, huge. if you're having shit sleeps, man, like, really... And mattress toppers don't work. Yeah, mattress toppers are rubbish, <laughs> um, so really look at the quality of your mattress, get into a store, um, lie on some stuff, you know, like... We went in a yeah, couple times and Definitely, on like, mm. like, try it out, you know, like... Some people like soft, some people like firm, like find something mm. that suits you. Um, just, you know. Same goes with your pillows. It so, makes so much difference for your muscles, your recovery, your sleep, your headspace, and just all that sort of good shit, eh? Yep. We just want to be feeling good, you know, like um, yeah, happy exactly. and healthy and productive. And thus far, um, yeah, it's all going super well. Confidence is definitely there. Really excited about competing. Like yeah. so, looking forward to it. Mm, this week coming, we've got um, we'll sort of chop, probably reduce the intensity by about sort of ten to fifteen percent with our weights. Um, still pushing hard, but just kind of pull back ever so slightly. And I don't want any injuries or anything mm. like that. Um, and we'll be having carbs right through the week. We're not going to be doing any of that depleting bullshit. Like. If you're not fucking lean, you're not fucking lean. Mm. Like, get shredded, you know? Um, we'll manipulate water probably later in the week and just, you know, to make sure that we're nice and dry, dry and tight. And um, there's no Cardio real... Cardio will stay for yeah, most of the week. Yeah, definitely. Probably mm. through to Wednesday, Thursday. Just take it out enough to take that load off the yep. legs too and give them a bit of a rest because they can um, fill up and be a little bit inflamed. So yeah. let everything come out. We'll train through probably um, Thursday, maybe even Friday, light pump session just to make sure all the carbs are going in where we need them. And um, yeah, you don't really have this nervous peak week shit is rubbish. Not a lot like, to yeah, you don't have to change things, man. You just got to be ready. You just got to be on the game, like, get in shape. Be lean, be be in shape two or three weeks out. Then you can kind of play around with your food a bit and just sort of um, tweak things ever so slightly to get 
that desired kind of look. And um, the last thing you want to do is come to the end of the week, that last week, and then change all this stuff, and then your body goes, "Wow, I haven't had this like ever." and freaks out, you know, like you better to stick with what you know. It's same with like the carbs and stuff that we use. The stuff mm. we use um, throughout the week is the stuff we use on show day because we know how our body reacts to that. Yeah, we know definitely. how it sits and, you know. You like don't want to go sh shoveling in all sorts of shit that you haven't mm. been having because it might upset your digestive system. Yeah. Um, then you're going to hold fluid. Then you're going to have a bloated tummy, you know, all that type of shit. Stick if you go, what you know. If you go mucking around with your sodium and your, you mm. know, salts and, that type of thing too much like your body's a very super adaptive machine and it's gonna do whatever it can to maintain homeostasis mm. which is balance it just wants you to and survive it yeah that's all it cares about so you've just got to put in these good things you know good sort of um strategies and protocols in place throughout the prep you know so there's no kind of um second guessing or shit what if i do this this might happen because really if you think about it you know, with the whole peak week thing, you're like you're trying to, you're trying to achieve a two percent or five percent better. Mm. You know, if you're ninety five percent of the way there, all you have to do is make just slight adjustments, and you're going to be looking on point. You know, don't want to be that person that one week out looked insane, yeah, and then Rest two all. days after the show you go, man, I wish I looked like this. You know, like risk it all just for um playing around with shit. So. Mm. Um, that's where we're at. Yeah. Um, also, I did do a video a couple of days ago um, that that was kind of more on the feminine side of things. So yeah, we'll chuck that in at the end of this as well, so you guys can have a look at that. So hormone related and mm. that type of stuff, and um, just yeah. some of the misconceptions that um, people have with females competing, I suppose, and um, the effects it can have on the health too, and the yeah, the hormonal side of it. So. And um, yeah, we will keep you updated with. Um, how everything goes at the end of the week, the show, and do some more videos. and We'll be Instagramming some, and all that sort of shit on the day. and Get, get a bit of footage yeah. out there, yeah. and um, you can see what it's like backstage at a show and all that sort of jazz. So, cool. Um, yeah, check us out, dynamicnutrition.co.nz, Instagram, um, Facebook. The website's loaded with content. We've got nutrition plans, training programs. Yeah, We've got everything, everything <laughs> supplements, everything you can imagine. So jump on there and um yes yeah, stay tuned cheers the thing for me last week um was that i got my period so it actually kind of in inflamed me a little bit stressed my body out um my estrogen sites went up a little bit which was kind of shitty but um good that I'm still healthy so <laughs> can't really complain um, but yeah, so I suppose I kind of wanted to touch on that a little bit too because it's not really something that we talk a lot about. I mean, Brennan doesn't obviously have to talk about that because it doesn't happen to him, but um, uh, for you guys to understand that I am human, that all this shit happens to me too, like no matter where we are in prep, I was real lucky that it happened two weeks out, not the week of the show, you know, like it does happen to some females then. Um, there's a big misconception around prepping and how unhealthy it is and um, what it can do to a female as well in terms of getting a menstrual cycle. Um, that really is only if you're not looking after yourself. Um, we have lots of good healthy fats. That was a big change I made this week too, was non-training days. Pulled the protein back a little bit, but added healthy fats in um, just to really help support that system. And it worked, so it's cool. Um, but yeah, so I still get the same things as all the other women do. I get the cravings, and it was funny, a couple days beforehand, I was like, fuck, I'm so hungry. Like, I'm just going to get through it, but why am I so hungry? Um, and yeah, that would have been why, just the hormones a little bit out of balance. So I'm really looking forward to this Saturday doing our testing again and seeing how everything is coming along then, because obviously the hormones do play up a little bit um, when you're going through that. So yeah, um, overall I'm feeling really optimistic. Um, see me laughing in my head because I remember what the video looked like last time um, from the four weeks out, and this is two weeks out, you know, like it's next weekend and we're going to be competing. But um, yeah, we've worked really hard, but we've worked really smart, and there's been lots of uh, parts of this journey that I've really enjoyed too, you know, like going over to Thailand for four weeks, that was amazing, we had so much fun over there, um, it was the perfect way to prep, um, and yeah, I think there's been a lot of learning about myself through this one too, which has been cool, um, stuff that you don't really get to learn about yourself, and what it actually, it's the fun stuff like, 
figuring out what actually makes your body tick, you know? Like with the keto, I was so adamant that was going to work. Didn't work. But just my body just didn't respond to it. That tool wasn't the right tool at the right time. Um, but then doing what I did this week has worked. And, you know, that's just the body responding differently. So, um, yeah, it's been real cool.